white? Black and white, because I have only one bit. I can be either zero or one. So I have only uh, um, the black and white image, one bit to represent. Now, sampling, we said that sampling tells me that in the continuous line, how many points I want to pick, right? And I can have more number of uh, 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 points if I have higher resolution, and I have less if I have lower resolution. Now, the thing is that here you can see the, uh, the picture of Obelix, and in the picture of Obelix we have different resolutions, uh, 1024, 512, 256, and so on. Now, the question is that which one is better? You know that our brain is kind of working with the magic, because uh, if, if I show you this, and that beside that one I show that one, we really cannot understand how the change is happening, because uh, each of these ones are, are very good. I don't know if you are reading news online or not, which I'm sure you do. Uh, sometimes they put a picture of a, a, a criminal which are pixelizing the, the picture, the head, because I mean, maybe they are not so sure if he's the killer or not. Mm -hmm. But if you go to the uh, main page, when they have the, a small picture of the uh, news mm -hmm. associated to, uh, to that news, you will be able to see the person. But when you click and the pictures become bigger, you see that no, the head is, is pixelized. The reason behind it is, if you look at the, for instance, 64 by 64 picture of um, uh, Obelix, it's, it's pretty okay, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or uh, even, um, I don't know, 128 by 2 and 128 is, is pretty okay. But if we put all of them together with the same size, then we start to see that no, 64 by 64 is not okay. I mean, six, our brain, when you put them with a different size, side by side, our brain can work in a form that we say that everything is okay. In order for us to understand the concept of sampling, that what happens if we are reducing the number of samples, we have to keep the uh, display size the same. So for the same display size, we can understand that as we are reducing the sampling, we are actually starting to have this pixelized effect. When we are playing with the sampling, we are actually dealing with something which is called a spatial resolution. Have you heard the term super resolution? Super resolution, which means that enhancing the quality of the image actually means that I am giving you this, and with the super resolution technique, we try to get this one. So in other words, we try to increase the size, but we try to make the image also as sharp as it is possible. There are lots of techniques which you can use in order to do super resolution. Today we will talk about one of the basic methods which we can use in order to do up sampling or super resolution or enhancing the spatial resolution. So keep this one in your mind. A spatial resolution is related to uh, sampling. Oh, already I have it in the slide. Now, the next thing is Quantization, which is known as gray level resolution. So we have a spatial resolution, which means sampling, and we have gray level resolution, which is uh, related to quantization. In there, in a quantization, it means that how many bits do I need in order to represent an image? And by default, as I said in this course, we are using 8 bit. But we will see that sometimes we can reduce the number of bits in order to represent one specific image. Now, what is the baseline? Where do we stop? Sometimes is this. You know that um, on my screen, I can see it from the fifth bit, but here, I think on the projector, you can start to see it on the fourth bit. As I am reducing the number of bits to represent, you see that we start to have some artifacts. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's called contour effect. We have started to increase, introduce some contours, which they do not exist in the real image, right? So these artifacts are bad. So usually sometimes we can actually start to squeeze and reduce the number of quantization till these things is happening. Remember, we cannot come and say that uh, four bit is the place that the counter effect happens. I can show you an image that you can actually reduce it to very uh, a small number of bits and you don't have a counter effect. Can you give me an example? Sorry? Dithering? Fine. No, I, I do mind. What does? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can have uh, one bit images that reduce one. Excellent. Excellent. You know, you take a picture of 
cloudy dark night everything is black or you take a picture of the wall with a very good lightning so everything is of the same color so in that case you do not see the counter effect even if you start to reduce I mean especially if it is black or white then you actually can go to down to one bit and nothing will happen I mean if it is let's say gray color as you are changing the quantization level you might change uniformly the whole color but you practically do not really see any counter effect. So you cannot say that 4 bit or 3 bit or 5 bit is a place that you can actually compress. For different images, this number can change. Okay? Now, typically, if we reduce to 1 bit, it means that we are dealing, we are handling, uh, we, are, we are receiving an image which is called black and white image. They are important, lots of importance of them are, are valid in uh, biomedical uh, imaging. We use them in the fingerprint uh, recognition. You know that you are scanning your fingerprint. Uh, it's all work with the binary images. We have it, um, like two or four hours of talking about this type of images and operations that we want to do on this type of image. Um, the reason behind this is that we have, a, you know, it's a, an image is a, is a matrix. So mathematicians are a lot, right? Because they can help us a lot. And we have lots of math here very specific type of mathematics here which is called boolean algebra you know logic operators we are dealing with zeros and ones so we have a special law for this and the others are all of the same uh, type of mathematics we, again we will talk about that one what i want you to to take care of is this term gray level resolution so we can have spatial resolution sampling and we can have gray level resolution so what we want to do today as a continuation of our talk, we want to focus on um, a spatial resolution. And in the spatial resolution, we want to talk that what will happen if I'm taking a picture of this classroom, but I want to see someone, so I crop everybody, and I have this small head, and it is not enough, so I want to zoom that one and make it bigger. You know, zooming out, in other words, if I have something very big and making it small is not difficult because I have to simply throw away. The problem is that I have thrown away and now I have to get it back and I cannot because I have to start to approximate, to estimate. So we want to talk about zooming and shrinking. Now, the most famous way of doing zooming is called interpolation. So before we go to the slides, let's talk about this concept of uh, uh, interpolation and extrapolation to see what they are. Uh, you might have heard of them, so I just try to uh, remind you about those things. Another comment was that with this camera they cannot see the board. Again, I didn't say that you can see the board. Mm -hmm. uh, now, in the, in the physics, in the physics I, I got an email that there have been some criticisms about the video, the five minutes video which I use it for advertisement. <laughs> Uh, uh, one of them was that the quality of the voice was bad. You know, in, the, in my class, you should not complain about two things.